Whoa, that is so cool. Look at that. And it seems like we've got some sort of outdoor deal. And it's like super quiet back here. Kitchen's big and so is the bedroom. And I also like stuff like this. You can see it up there on the ceiling. That gives this place a lot of character. But do you need character when you've got a living room that's 34 feet by 12 and a half feet? This is huge. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Handy dandy, fine, no problems. And that is a huge, huge problem. If everything's going fine and nothing is going wrong, that can only mean that everything is wrong. This is a product for a business that I used to own. I was using it as a prop. This is technically property of my business partner. It'll have to stay over here with his other stuff. Starting that business, that took a lot of risk. There were moments of failure where everything went wrong, but there were also moments where everything went right and it turned into an awesome business that I sold to my business partner and it was like selling a house. But if it wasn't for the mistakes that happened along the way, nothing good ever would have come out of it. And you know, with what I'm up to right now, running the real estate business, making videos, I feel comfortable and to me that's a problem because it just means that I'm not really taking any risks. Now things are good, I'm not complaining, but without some sort of risk taking place, nothing will change and your circumstances will not improve even if they're already okay. The other week I posted some videos from a family trip that we took to New Jersey. It's not really that far away from New York, but filming that was different. And because it was different, I learned new ways of doing this and it was fun. And to keep having that kind of fun, I have to continue taking risks. I have to film things in a slightly different way. I have to switch up my routine a little bit. If I do that and it pays off, boom. And if I make a mistake, it's part of the process and that's just how it works. Brooklyn, we just got off the train at Myrtle Avenue and the apartment is so close. It's about five minutes. What do you have yeah, here? Thank oh, you with this. Awesome. Cool, man. I got it. Thank you. Good luck to you. Kind of a polarizing area. Everything is right here by the trains. Like this crazy deli and there's a whole bunch of other shops and stuff. There's also a Popeyes here right over there across the street. And there's also a vegetable market. But do you hear the train behind me? It's kind of loud. So even though this is convenient, I'm glad we have to walk half a block this way. Ooh, look at this. Somebody's Mini Cooper. They're getting an alarm installed. Do they know? Absolutely nobody wants to steal their vehicle. These never should have been made. Wow, this is a Brooklyn coffee shop for you. Look at the cool colors. Here's the menu. Pumpkin spice latte. There's no way that's a bad idea. That over there is the gym. I think it's a New York sports club, maybe. But if it's open, do you really want to work out there? This is your bagel place. This is your pizza place and this I think it's like a dog place I can't really tell and next to that you can actually trade in some of your old records that'll definitely be a great side business and you can use the money to pay about 10 cents of your rent every single month funny that's the building I toured like a week or so ago and this is the building that we're going to today a little bit different hey that's me that's what I look like This seems like a pretty big place. And it seems like we've got some sort of outdoor deal. <laughs> this is huge. That's where we came out and we get everything on this side of the fence. And it's like super quiet back here. Kitchen's big and so is the bedroom. And check this out, if you drive, you can keep an eye on your Volkswagen. Looks like we've also got laundry. 
Okay, that works. Having to leave to clean your stuff. Oh man, that makes it really hard. Plus you don't have to leave to take out the trash either. Definitely a unique building with all these little hallways and staircases everywhere. But you could get lost for your first two weeks living here. So, this apartment and everything you see here, $26.99 for this massive amount of space. But should you rent it? That's what we're here to find out. If you have fun watching, subscribe. And if you want to live here, I'll have all the leasing agents contact in the description. The entry point is right over here. That's the front door. And uh, next to the front door, we got the bathroom. Look at that, we got a full-size tub. And even though it's not flashy, it's definitely really big. Just look at this sink. This might even be too much counter space. As if that were possible, we've also got ourselves a nice medicine cabinet. I like the bathroom. And I also like stuff like this. You can see it up there on the ceiling. That gives this place a lot of character. But do you need character when you've got a living room that's 34 feet by 12 and a half feet. This is huge. Over by the kitchen, you could totally get a huge dining table, probably like a six person. And then over here, you could have a big couch uh, in a couple of different spots. And then you could have an entertainment center against the wall. Either way, if you rent this, you're gonna be buying a lot of furniture. So get ready. Oh yeah, and you should probably furnish the deck too. Speaking of which, look at that spot. What do you think was there? My guess is either a circular table or an alien spacecraft. They are living among us. Did you know that? Either way, next to that, maybe you could have like a barbecue and some chairs. You could also take some inspiration from your neighbors. Look at that, they got a hammock. Boy, is that the right move. The uh, backyard here has given us another 15 feet by 11 feet of common space. So between this and the inside, you've got about 50 feet all together. That has to be some kind of record for New York City. here it's very similar to the bathroom it's not fancy but it's big I also like how stuff like the stove and the dishwasher these are full-size appliances they're not like the miniature versions same deal with the fridge and there's a decent amount of counter space and check out the outlets you got four over there four more over there and then two over here and the apartment comes with a sink sprayer I like the bedroom here. It's a lot brighter than I expected. That's because these two windows are facing the parking, which, you know, it doesn't make any noise and it's bright. I think those are good things. But just in case, maybe you'll want to get some paper shades. No complaints on the size here either. 13 feet, seven inches by eight feet. So definitely workable. Probably want your bed in the corner and then you can put like a dresser and a standing closet over here. And that leads me to what I think some people might have an issue with, that door. It's uh, not a closet, that's the water heater, which means you're gonna have to put a closet in. But look at all this space. Just put some hooks on the wall. Right next to the fridge, I feel like you could get a good standing wardrobe, it would fit right in. Boom, problem solved. And if you wanna learn more about what is definitely a big apartment with some cool features, check out the video description for all the leasing team's contact info, and then let's see something else, pick another video here or here. I'll see you soon.